Yo, yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know. Anything we bring on the channel, it's got the heat, got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is no different, guys. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. This one is called DIA. Guys, I got a hot platform for you today. DIA stands for Decentralized Information Asset. They are an open sourced data and oracle platform for the decentralized finance ecosystem and they have announced the first step to decentralize their governance by public distribution of its governance token back on Monday, August 3rd, guys. They were founded in 2018 as a Swiss association. DIA's vision is to make validated and audible financial market data accessible and open source to both traditional and decentralized financial markets. Rather than sourcing and providing data itself, the DIA platform sets crypto economic incentives that drive the sourcing and validation of data by the community. Beautiful, colorful homepage here guys, their website is diadata.org. The exponential growth of decentralized finance calls for more resilient data solutions. Financial data is the critical foundation of any financial market, guys. Both in traditional and digital asset markets, the cost of bad data has become tragically apparent in the wake of scandals surrounding manipulation and a lack of transparency, causing several loss of funds and calling for more trustworthy and transparent solutions. In particular, guys, the recent exponential growth of decentralized finance applications have sparked a new interest in the data architecture architecture that supports this ecosystem. While a range of providers are already catering to an increasing demand for data, DIA's approach fuels the hope that the ecosystem's data providers will leverage the benefits of decentralized governance to provide the highest quality data and make it accessible to all market actors. On their website here guys, they explain that DeFi applications are reliant on trustable and scalable data feeds to build reliable products and avoid exploitation and manipulation. DIA leverages crypto economic incentives and the wisdom of the community to source, validate, and deliver trusted financial data. In their diagram here, guys, we can see all of the cryptocurrencies on the left-hand side there. Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., as well as our fiats like the dollar and the euro, flowing into the DIA ecosystem, creating opportunities for lending and margin trading, derivatives, prediction markets, insurance, and benchmarks. DIA's co-founder and associate president Michael Weber explains with a DeFi industry already worth $5 billion and growing at a rapid pace, trusted data will become the most crucial building block for all decentralized finance economy. They believe that data needs to be community driven, decentralized and transparent. The DIA association will be positioned to provide the best possible oracles by leveraging the decentralization of DIA as an organization and a community that is incentivized at each step in the process. Some of their features, guys. Transparency. DIA's data feeds are open source and accessible. Sources, methodologies, scraper code are hosted on GitHub, and the database is hashed on chain for full audibility of historical data. Validation. DIA data is verified by a whole community of stakeholders. Market actors can submit requests for data and incentivize the validation of feeds. Continuously incentivized validation via token staking ensures effective quality assurance. Scalability. Decentralized data sourcing enables easy scalability. Decentralized finance enables the design of financial products on highly diverse underlying assets and events. DIA provides a scalable infrastructure to meet the data needs. DIA Labs. Guys, the Decentralized Information Asset Labs is the sandbox for the decentralized finance ecosystem. This initiative calls for incumbent decentralized finance market actors, startups, researchers, and innovators of all walks and sizes to apply for a Decentralized Information Asset Token grant giving you access to high quality digital and traditional asset data. You can apply below guys, it's very easy. You just click this link right here. In regards to some of their examples guys, their lending rate generator, compounded averages of reference rates to mitigate the outlier impact of daily market fluctuations, crypto volatility index. This crypto volatility index is calculated on top of bid slash ask information received from crypto, Bitcoin in particular, option markets. 
interbank overnight rates. Overnight rates are interest rates that our large banks use to borrow and lend from each other in the overnight market. There's a lot of background reading that they have on their website, guys, to explore the decentralized information asset ecosystem further. I encourage you to do that if you have some time and you're looking to get a little more familiar with the platform. In regards to their media sources, guys, they've been featured in several big outlets such as Cointelegraph, Hacker Noon, Entrepreneur, and Yahoo Finance. They do have a video on their website here guys in which their CEO Mr. Michael Weber speaks on the project some more. I'd like to play that for you just so we can get a better grasp of what they're all about. DIA, what we are building is the standard and push for the Binance generation. Accurate, auditable and actionable financial data. From my personal background in the investment banking space, I'm absolutely aware of the crucial validity and trust everybody in the end puts in the correct calculation of one central data point. Uh, your mortgages, your personal loans, your retail credits, all are dependent on the right calculation and publication of data points. If this goes wrong, this becomes massively expensive for everybody. This is something we are solving with a very targeted, efficient use of blockchain uh, for cryptocurrency pricing, but also traditional financial data in order to make the market more transparent, accessible and serve the traditional financial space as well as the new DeFi space popping up using this data. Great video by Mr. Weber right there. It's very easy to understand what their project is all about and how we as investors can benefit from it. Just to expand a little bit more on their team since we just heard from their CEO there, DIA is run by a team of experienced Web3 founders and financial market experts and is backed by notable venture capital funds including Outlier Ventures, Continue Capital and TRG Capital as well as angel investors from the traditional finance space. As one of the star performers to emerge from OV's Basecamp Accelerator, DIA has received praise as one of the most promising upcoming decentralized finance projects dedicated to the democratization of data and company transparency. Now the big news that I wanted to talk to you guys about, Bitmax.io has listed DIA on their website the trading pair DIA USDT and the price has been doing some serious action guys it hit four dollars and eight cents within the last 24 hours with an all-time high percentage of 187.61 versus the opening price when it listed guys on the 17th this is the official tweet from bitmax.io and here is the official announcement on bitmax.io's website you guys know that i'm a very very strong advocator and user of the singapore base exchange bitmax.io they are one of the top 2020 exchanges that i would recommend for people to be using in this day and age just to go over the announcement that they have on their website guys it reads dear users bitmax.io will list decentralized information asset dia under the trading pair dia usdt details are as follows deposit and withdrawal to start on august 17th 11 a.m edt 2020 trading to start on august 17th 11 p.m edt 2020 they're kind enough to provide a project introduction which that reads some of the token economics as well as a little bit of a background on the project dia decentralized information asset is an open source platform for transparent community verified price oracles for decentralized finance applications their total supply guys 200 million tokens circulating supply 8 million official website diadata.org white paper link right here guys their ether scan explorer link over here as well in which we can see all of the transparent data regarding the token we can already see that there's been a significant 10 percent gain on that right now guys we're not quite at that all-time high the four dollars but we're still at a very very good price very near it here is dia's official telegram group guys they have over 7,700 members in there very legitimate their admins are very kind they can help you out with any questions you might have and here is their actual twitter page guys they have about 10k followers and they're following almost 109 people and they tweet fairly often as you can see they've retweeted from a gentleman here that tweeted three hours ago and they're sending out their own tweets as well which was sent out three hours ago so they are frequently active here is the trading pair link on bitmax.io guys the link is going to be in the description for you for you to check it out get some more information 
as you can see guys the last price is three dollars and 84 cents not far from the 24 hour high that they were at before of three dollars and 88 cents a couple days ago guys as i mentioned on the 18th they hit over four dollars and the token is still trading very very close to that their volume has been exploding in a sense that they're over three hundred thousand dollars and we can see that the liquidity supply and demand factor is definitely here guys it is present we have all of our buy and sell orders to the right as well as our trade and order history at the bottom of the page over here. 24 hour change is just over 9% guys of gains. Shout out to all my students, I love you. Shout out to the Crypto Class Gang, shout out to the Lambo Gang, shout out to the Whale Gang, shout out to the Hotto Gang. Thank you for always your continued support guys, I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button for me and drop a comment in the comment section below. Please remember guys, we are an impartial channel so whether your opinion is negative or positive, we'd be more than happy to hear it that being said guys class is now dismissed we'll see you in our next video professor crypto out <laughs>